guys, I'm Dash and welcome back to my channel and oh my god, it's been a hot minute since I actually uploaded on YouTube but no worries, today we're going to be talking about my skincare favourites and routine and what are the products I've been using so far to take care of my skin so if you want to know what is my skincare routine and also favourites then just keep watching but as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already like this video if you enjoy and comment down below what future videos would you like to see and just keep watching Okay guys, so before I start off this video introducing the products I've been using, I just want to show you a very quick clip of my skin right here. No makeup, no nothing. The past few months, it was really terrible. My skin had really break out a lot. The texture was very, very bad and it became like my skin has so many scars. So uh, this few products that I'll be recommending to you is mainly for like dry textured skin and also acne prone sensitive kind of skin. So so if you have any like texture going on your skin, I think this routine that I have right here can really help to uh, almost better the situation because the past few weeks that I actually had so much texture, now it's getting better. But sometimes if I like, I missed out a few of days that I didn't do my skincare routine, it will go back to normal, like the texture is more prominent. But I really feel that the products that I'll be recommending and also doing my routine so far, it's been really helping. The first product I'll be talking about is this cleanser right here. So this is the Plant Origins Cleanser right here. This one is actually a local brand and oh my god, I really like testing cleansers and I test so many in the past already but so far this is one of the cleansers that I absolutely swear by and if you guys haven't tried it already, I really highly recommend. It's absolutely suitable for like sensitive skin because the overall texture and ev everything it feels on the skin is very gentle. It's not too harsh that it strips out the natural oil on your skin which is something that a lot of cleanser like if you have acne prone, don't think that uh, you need to just get everything out. You need something that is very gentle. So this one is the daily gentle cleanser and it, the name is perfect for it because in the morning, you just need to use this. At night, sometimes I will switch it up between this and the Kiehl's uh, Calendula Cleanser. But this one is really super duper good and it's super affordable as well. So I will leave all the products linked at the down description below. So yeah, make sure you guys check this out. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about are toners right here. I have three to share with you guys. The first one that I would like to share is obviously my go-to favorite. It's been, I think, more than five, six, seven years that I've been using this. I use it ever since I was in like high school and this was the one toner that really helped me to just balance out my skin. So even if you're like here, uh, recommend like normal to oily skin, but I feel like it's basically for all skin type, even for sensitive skin because even my skin is very sensitive but I still think this toner is absolutely amazing just to just balance out everything so Calendula Toner by Kiehl's is definitely one of my favorites another favorite toner that I discovered last year is this one right here I did a whole review video on this brand so you can actually click right here to watch the video I'm not sure here or here but this is the uh, Skin 1004 or 1004 Madagascar Centella Toning Toner Toning Toner yeah so this one is made from pure centella uh, from Madagascar. So this one has the Centella Astatica extract inside it and I really love using this toner right here especially if you feel like your skin is okay. I, I'm very oily throughout the day and also the skin is like I have so much gunk on my skin. This one actually helps to like gently exfoliate the skin without using your actual like physical exfoliator. And last but not least is this one right here. So this one is quite new to me. This one is by the Mentholatum. This is their acne series. The oil absorbing powder, powder lotion. So why I would categorize this as the toner type, I don't use it all over the face but I like to, it has a double layer so this one is like the bottom powder layer but what you need to do, you just need to shake things up so it will become like all over, it mix it up and all. Uh, I like to do it, just put a little bit on the cotton pad and I'll focus on the area that I actually have a lot of acne prone. So for example, this area, I'm not sure, you cannot see right now because I'm wearing makeup obviously, but this area that I have a lot of acne, I just like to take a little bit and just dab 
that a little bit don't ever wipe it all away your face i feel like it's very harsh especially for my skin tone if you have severe oily skin i think this will really help to control the oil so the next category like after cleanser and toner is this two right here even though it's not like a similar product but i usually use it after my toner so i'm gonna talk about this product right here first as again if you haven't watched my video on this brand already the skin 104 i really love their ampoule as well so this one i think is made out of 100 percent centella acetic extract the texture of it and everything is so nice and like the texture is just very nice. It feels very lightweight on the skin and the main thing about this because ampoule usually is very thick right but this one it just melts in the skin and it just garners so nicely and I feel sometimes if my skin is very irritated or I feel like I need the extra proof of hydration but without feeling like very uh, heavy and this one right here is the anti-acne spot gel what I would do is like after I use my toner then uh, most likely I won't mix this together but after I use the toner I just want to have a clean face and I just go in with a little bit I just dab on my acne area and I feel that the next few days if I use it consistently enough it actually helped to reduce like the redness and also like the bumps so that will really help to reduce the acne area so this was helping so far so the next category I want to talk about are serums right here and I'm going to be talking about this one right here. This is the Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Micro Dose Serum and this one right here, it has pure retinol, peptide and also ceramide. So I was actually quite shocked while using uh, this product right here because previously I tried retinol in the past and it gave me like super bad like reaction. I think it's the purging process but sometimes the purging process is so hard to come by because like you can see all of your acne is just bursting out and like your skin became like so like sensitive and red and sometimes like super duper pain as well because of the acne but come to my surprise this product right here it gave like really super gentle uh, retinol because I feel it didn't the first few nights that I was using this product it didn't really like like burst out any acne severely I love how it actually is so lightweight it's not super thick like the previous uh, like retinol kind of cream that I used before it's very lightweight and it just sinks into the skin it absorbs very nicely into the skin while at the same time I see like the first few nights I consistently using this and like even though uh, usually retinol they say like maybe use every other day but I was skeptical I was like okay whether because it says it daily so I'm like okay I have a leap of faith and I trust it and it actually really helped to reduce my uh, overall texture of the skin and immediately I can see my like acne texture especially this side here and also around my cheek area where sometimes it's a little bit dry this one can really help to uh, minimize all the redness, the dryness and there's no any peeling that uh, anything happened like I say it's a very gentle retinol it didn't have any very severe bad reaction and I feel this is really one of the key ways that actually recently helped my skin to reduce all the textures so yeah guys I really highly recommend you guys but I also seen that the reviews that actually say not only it helps to reduce like the texture and all it can reduce like uh, over time the appearance of wrinkle it really helps to uplift the fur uh, the firmness on the skin so I'm really excited to keep using this product right here and if you want to know what's the best combo to use are these two products right here so this one is the daily retinol serum but you also can use in conjunction together with their famous kills clearly corrective dark spot solution so if you have any like dark spots like me like sometimes like sun hyperpigmentation or even like some acne scar i feel like it does kind of uh, reduce the overall appearance of the dark spot so this is the product right here must have use a sunscreen so this one is the kills ultra light daily uv defense so if you're looking for like a series to like minimize a uh, texture to like really help out with dark spots to really just make your skin like very glass kind of skin these three combos right here from kills you can actually try it out so the retinol serum the daily uh wait the clary corrective dark spot solution and of course 
sunscreen which is super duper important so if you guys are interested in checking out all these products right here i will link it down below so the retinol serum is all about anti-aging and also like minimizing texture but these two serum right here i'm going to be talking about so let's start off with this one right here filorga and this is the age purified intensive double correction serum is for wrinkles and blemishes another anti-aging one because like oh my god um I think the part that you're going into your mid-twenties is already starting for you to like have a little bit of anti-aging but I've been using this non-stop as well. This one right here, I really love because they targeted blemishes as well. It just super duper lightweight that I love to use like this serum in the morning. So usually the retinol one, I use it like at night and this one I use it in the morning and it just sink right in. Okay, so the last serum I'm going to talk about is this right here. This is the Eucerin spotless brightening booster serum and I've been using this product I think about few months now and I can really see a result because some of my scars and also dark spots are actually lightening so if you use it consistently it actually does help to like lighten the overall appearance but because of my active acne that is been coming out so it's like Lighten scars and the scar come out. The lighten scar, scars come out. It's like so annoying. But at the same time, I'm very happy that the products that I mentioned so far, it kind of like work well together to like hydrate the skin, retexturize, look, reduce the texture of the skin and also like to lighten it as well. Hey guys, I know this video is a little bit long than usual, but I really just want to share all of my skincare. But last but not least, we're tapping into the moisturizer category and I have four to show. I love moisturizer because obviously my skin skin actually has like a good barrier to it but the inner side of it is actually super dehydrated so I really love using a lot of trying out different moisturizer and I really want to mention these four right here so the first two that I'm gonna mention is actually these two right here so this one is the Plant Origin Daily Dewy Moisture Cream and this is the Mamonde Ceramide Light Cream these two has very similar texture and I just really love using these two, uh, like I switch out, like some days I use this, some days I use this, but I can't choose really a favorite, but I really like the scent of this a lot. I know this is the fragrance one, so if you're sensitive, like really sensitive, you just want to avoid all the fragrance, definitely check out this one, because this one is 100% natural and also it doesn't have any synthetic fragrance inside it, so this one is made with essential oil, so it's definitely much more uh, suitable like for sensitive skin, maybe if you want to totally skip out the fragrance, but I love using this both together, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night, it really depends on my mood, because I feel like this one is quite similar so I really like both of this as well so next is actually the Hada Labo Calming Relief Face Cream oh my god this one right here I would say this is very different from all the other moisturizer I tried before because it's actually very thick a moisturizer but at the same time it really just makes the skin super duper moisturized and it just calm my skin I really love this uh, Calming Relief Face Cream right here and it's just feels like very suitable for my skin. And last but not least, this is the Eucerin Spotless Brightening Day SPF 30 Moisturizer. So I like to use moisturizer like really pack it on at night but this one right here I like to use it in the morning. For some days I feel like the previous night I already feel like okay my skin is very hydrated, it's nice. The next day I would like to use the spotless uh, brightening uh, moisturizer here. I liked it because like sometimes I feel like oh if I'm so lazy I can just skip SPF but don't skip it SPF. After you use this, make sure you do uh, use SPF as well. But sometimes I just like to skip it overall. It's just very nice texture. It just blends to the skin very nicely. And it comes with SPF, so that's bonus. And speaking about SPF, last but not least is this right here. These two, I really love these two sunscreen right here. I tried out so many different types of sunscreen but I would say these are my favorite sunscreen. These are the L'Oreal UV Perfect Matte and Refresh and also this is the Super Aqua Essence. So I have these two always by my side because sometimes I feel my skin is super duper dry. I go for the aqua one and sometimes I feel like okay my skin is a little bit oily. I want to like wear makeup and all. I always go for the matte one. So these two sunscreens are really nice. It's from the drugstore. Super duper off 
affordable and yeah highly recommend this sunscreen that's all for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and make sure to let me know what other future videos that you like to see and once again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye